Hello, welcome to Geojit Spotlight. The high volatility in global equity markets continues. This volatility is because the market is not sure about a trend. The trend is certainly not bullish because of the sharp global economic growth slowdown underway. Markets have partly discounted a US mild recession. The trend is not strongly bearish also, hopes of inflation peaking and coming down and the U.S. avoiding a recession are resulting in a strong occasional buying in the U.S. market, which in turn is lifting all markets including India's. A clear trend in the market will emerge only when there is clarity on where the global economy is headed. If there are indications of the U.S. avoiding a, a recession, uh, when such indicators emerge, that is, the markets will uh, bounce back smartly. Conversely, if the incoming data indicate the U.S. slipping into a severe recession, markets will correct further globally. Only time can tell which way the economy and markets move. We will have to wait for clarity. This month, Nifty rallied by around 1,400 points from the low levels of June. This rally was assisted by FII's turning buyers for five days consecutively and hopes of declining trend in inflation facilitated by the sharp correction in crude, metals and edible oils. So now FPI's, uh, for institutional investors, have again turned um, sellers at uh, higher levels. So uh, Nifty has corrected by around uh, 270 points. FIIs have uh, stopped selling in financials, particularly leading banks, because the Q1 results of financials have been good and credit growth in the economy is impressive. In uh, recent days, there has been um, a heavy FPI selling in large cap IT stocks on concerns of a likely US recession impacting the IT industry. Investors who picked up high quality financials when their prices were depressed by FPI selling have made good gains. Similar gains are possible in IT stocks also if the fears of IT slowdown are proved wrong. Early Q1 results indicate that capital goods, segments of autos, FMCG, specialty chemicals, paints, etc. are doing well. So watch out for the leading indicators. The Fed action expected late tonight, the rate action is unlikely to impact markets in a big way since the markets have already discounted a 75 basis point rate hike which is the most likely outcome.